for the serious gamer. It's Spider-Man Action Tactics.com. It's God of War 3 campaign. Watch chapter 32, Daedalus Workroom. Okay, this is kind of a room that's sort of filled with puzzles and um, and stuff and stuff that you can read. So I'm actually going to go through and uh, read each item so that you can see it. I know it's going to take a little bit of time, but apparently uh, Daedalus was commissioned to build um, this labyrinth. And this sort of is a diary, so to speak. I mean, it's quite a detailed diary, if you ask me. But uh, that was day one, so he's been commissioned by Zeus to build this thing. And uh, apparently he's asking the impossible, but he's using uh, Daedalus' son as collateral, saying, I guess Daedalus, Daedalus hasn't seen his son or whatever. And Zeus is saying, well, you can have your son back if you build me this labyrinth. And apparently this labyrinth is uh, has like some sort of power to it. We'll have to see. Um, interesting, interesting. So apparently this labyrinth is going to be way more powerful than anything in Olympus. All right. So let's keep looking around. There are some pots you can get some uh, red orbs from. There's all kinds of these uh, notebooks and journal entries. So he's actually using the fire of Olympus. Huh. But apparently um, this device may be uh, used for very great evil and destruction. Okay, Zeus's treasure into the heart of the labyrinth. So I'm pretty sure that's Pandora. So he's got Pandora trapped in the labyrinth. We gotta get her. So the seal of Zeus is uh, locking that gate right now. We gotta figure out how to unlock that baby. So the labyrinth is almost done, and he hasn't seen his son yet. So I think he's still thinking that once he's completed the labyrinth, that Zeus will give him his son. Okay, final efforts. Day 4,603. Wow. That's like 15, nearly 15 years. Well, actually 14, 13 to 14 years to build a labyrinth. Craziness. Okay, so you got a lever here. And what that'll do, we'll uh, raise this platform. And you have this ballista. And I go to move it, but I was actually in the right spot. And we're going to use it to open the gate. You can fire right in the seal of Zeus. And the gate opens. So it looks like that's our exit. But there's more to do here. There's a bunch of portals in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the ballista. Uh, yeah, turn it. There we go. And we're going to fire it into that portal. So it'll fire into that one, come out of that one, and we can go up there. Look at that chest. Let's go up and get the, whatever's in that chest. So there, there are a few collectibles in here that you definitely want to want to get. And that's all they are. There's nothing actually in here that you need in order to continue um, the game. But we may as well get this stuff. Because we'll get upgrades, we'll get XP... Red orbs. All right, Gorgon Eye. Health upgrade. It's always nice to have more health and more magic available when you need it. Because I have a feeling we are going to need it. Okay, so we got that one up there. Now what we're going to do is... You can actually run up this wall using Hermes boots. And you end up in this portal. And there's a lever here. So the lever... Look at that, two chests. So it brings those two chests down. You come back out and fire the ballista directly into that far portal. And that part portal also en ends up up top and breaks what a, um, the contraption that was holding those two chests. So now you can jump down and you got a couple more collectibles, maybe another upgrade. Let's see. 
So we got a Phoenix Feather for magic, but we still need one more. And what's in chest number two? A prize possession. Daedalus's schematics. Okay. And that's for use after the game. All right, and then you can jump through this one and come up here, and there's uh, a chest up here with red orbs and some pots to so smash those. And um, when we went through on easy mode, we didn't actually get up onto this other platform. There's another platform to the left above the first, uh, above the first um, portal on the left. So you probably could have done this first. So we're gonna do it now, and we're trying to get the ballista to turn the other way. For some reason, we're having a bit of difficulty. Come on. So yeah, when you first enter the room, this is what probably what you want to do first. Come on, turn the other way. Damn it, this stupid thing. There we go. Okay, so fire the ballista into that first portal, and it's actually gonna hit lower this time. So it's gonna go through that portal, that one that one and end up up top and go over there and that's where the two chests are that we want to get so what we're gonna do we're gonna jump through this portal um, actually you don't even need to do this I, I go I go along the rope but you can just jump through the one the portal on the far side um, like we already had <laughs> sorry guys so we'll go through this portal and then you want to jump down. No. There you go, Kratos. Okay, jump down. And then you're going to come over here. And you're going to... Oh, damn it. No, you're not going to do it like that. Go back in there. No, don't go on the rope. Are you kidding me? Don't go on the rope again. Kratos, do not go on the rope again. Thank you. Thank you. Just jump through the portal. Okay? And then you're going to come out here. And... You're going to do a double jump and glide and grab onto the rope again. There you go. And you get those other two chests that are on the other side. And that's it. You've gotten everything in the room. And now we can uh, get the hell out of here. All right. We got three Minotaur horns now. And that is upgraded magic, I believe. Or, sorry, upgraded item. All right, so let's get out of here now. You can just uh, slide down this rope. Actually, we're gonna upgrade our uh, weapons because we have like 19,000 red orbs. So may as well upgrade them. So we got uh, full upgrades on the Blades of Exile now. Sweet, it's like my favorite weapon. And let's see what else we can do. We got 9,000 left. Still got a few upgrades to do. The Nemean Cestus. Okay, let's do that. That's what I was looking for. Cestus. Why couldn't I think of Cestus? I mean, come on. You kidding me? So we got another 5,000. May as well upgrade it again. And uh, let's carry on. Okay, so slide down the rope. And jump down. No, jump down. Jump down. There we go. And you got two chests on this side, too, so quite a few uh, upgrades or uh, collectibles we're getting here, which is good. And some more red orbs. And the further you get in the game, the more red orbs you actually end up getting from the chests. Like, we just got more than a thousand red orbs from that chest. It's pretty sweet. All right, and we're uh, coming out here. And uh, this is actually... This area we're coming out to, I th believe, is Hera's Garden. But uh, again, we're uh, running out of time for this video. So lots of gates, lots of steps and areas we gotta get past, and apparently we gotta go over there. So get through the garden, go over there. Got it. And uh, we're gonna continue that in the next video because we don't have time. Uh, we only have like another 30 seconds left and it's going to take a hell of a lot longer than 30 seconds, alright? So stay tuned for Hare's Garden, episode chapter 33. And, uh, you know, stay with us. For more strategies and tactics, visit nextgentactics.com. I'm Spiderbite and I'm getting tired. I'm out. <laughs>